What is happening, everyone? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am back with Yuppie Psycho. Uh, this came in the mail a few days ago. Um, I pre-ordered it a few months back from um, Video Games New York. And I'm not going to say too much. Let's, let's just jump right into it. You already know it's something very obscure was something interesting so let's do this let's check the options all right that's about right let's see what awaits now This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Well, I mean, at least it tells you up front. Can't be mad at that. I think we've all been there before. His <laughs> first job, huh? Well, I finally arrived. I hope I'm not hope I'm not at the wrong place. I should walk around here. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone. Alright. Hi, uh, excuse me. The administration uh, of an order branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. Yeah, that would have been my reaction right there, too. Poor Brian. Alright, let's go to the smoking man. Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, will you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know, how big companies are with their formalities. Oh boy. Oh, excuse me. You should call me Pasternak then. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Looking at you, I think I can assume it's your first day at, the, at work. Just stay calm, it's normal to be nervous. Yes, I'm here because I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Damn, really? Uh, a suit. No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, then I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Hmm. I think my mother got it from me at the supermarket. <laughs> um, can one of you guys tell me I, I, if that is the case? What supermarket sells suits? A pretty spiffy one at that. Supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G, and you? What the hell does a class mean? Get away from me, vermin! Damn! Yo, that was just out of left field! 
What does that mean? How dare you talk to me, Class G scum? But how? 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 Get out, go. Uh, I'm sorry for, shut up. Yo, this, this guy is just, once he found out what class he is in, uh, he just went completely AWOL. What brings a, a, a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Damn! Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh... This is the original Centricorp headquarters. The mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. What? This, this guy has, like, really lost it. Oh, yes. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people in the international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. Calm down, Chapman. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Wow. Um, this is an interesting first day of the job. Alright, so... Rooftop, management, executive, garden, archive, slash library, offices, hive, hive, IT security, initiation, canteen, lobby. Okay. So we got an idea where things are. The button to call the elevator doesn't seem to be working. There's a camera on top of it. I guess someone's watching us. Alright, um... It won't open. Okay, maybe it's time to leave. Is that piss on the floor? Uh, some kind of corporation. I mean, this place looks run down. Hello, my name's Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Ah, that's right. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, no, no. Call me Kate. It's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G-Class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. <laughs> I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck-up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here and my family was able to ascend through the ranks. How lucky! So, are you here because you got a, a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There were thousands of candidates. I work in... Uh, ah, I'm getting tongue-tied. I work in disaggregated analytics. By the way, what's your specialization? Specialization? Uh, let me guess. Managing redundancy? Uh, perhaps combined programs? Well, wait, wait, network protocol systems, management of vertical basis, structural data cal calculus. No, I, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh, Whew. what am I even doing here? It's impossible for a class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been for some, someone's idea of a joke letter. Take a look. Brian Kaspernak, you've been selected for a role within Syndicorp staff. This job upgrades your status to a class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought I... I don't know. 
Now that I'm here, it's clear this is a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean, a mistake? You've directly secured a position as Centicorp. To me, this sounds like an opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education or... This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Oh, now the elevator shows up. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. What, the elevator tells you to enter? Ha ha ha. They always call the most important people first. Understand? Of course you don't. I can see you. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. Damn, this guy is just straight brutal. He was super friendly until, you know, and that 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 kind of bothers me a little bit. It's like you literally judge someone based on a background or history. Like, come on. Anyway, uh, you see that little light on the elevator that marks the doors, marks the floors. Excuse me. The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. Yo, this guy is just, he's gone. Like, see, I don't want to see that guy again. I probably will, but. It stopped on the second floor. He wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Ah. I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Ooh. Ah, oh, ah, so do I. She's on the fifth floor. Oh no, the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. Hmm. Guess I have to wait here until they call me. Unless that letter was really a joke. So, let's look at the floor again. So, that guy was in, he was in the second floor, so initiation. And she's on the fourth. I don't mind me, you know, just... It's a pamphlet. It reads, Security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately, your welfare are our priorities. Centricorp provides Class A citizenship to all our employees. We spend half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. What does this whole class thing mean? Are they going to clarify that throughout the game? It's a pamphlet. It reads, Every year, Centricorp provides aid to millions of people in under underdeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there could be no growth without sustainability. Alright. Um, let's read this one. Alright, gotta go on the other side. It's a booklet. It says, are you at the top of your class? Start your working life at the best company in the world with one of our deluxe international scholarships. Ooh. All right. Um. It won't open. Do I leave? Oh. Yuck. Well, yeah, you won the garbage can, man. I don't see anything useful here. There's nothing interesting in here, obviously. Do I just sit down?
Actually, maybe I should show that letter to that camera. I can open my briefcase with X. Okay. Hello, security camera gentlemen, or, or lady. I received this letter with my name, see? And it says, you've given me a job. Is this, sort of, is this some sort of prank or... Hello? Yeah, the, the camera's gonna talk back to you. What an idiot. Looks like I came all this way for nothing. Let me guess, I'm just gonna leave and then it's gonna call me? Well, looks like I won't be having my first day in the capital after all. And it's a long journey back home. What the? Yo, I don't like this. This is weird. Um, is it too late to turn back around? <laughs> Alright, let's go in. He's all the way at the top floor. Yo, he's automatically gone to the top. He's gone all the way up, y'all. The top floor. This has to be a mistake, right? Oh, I don't like that. Is that blood trail? Yo, is that like a blood trail? Like... I guess I follow it? Yo, what is going on here? Fucking like sacrificial shit? What in the hell? Kill the witch? It looks like a contract. I, Brian Kaspernak, declare that I accept the job offered by Central Corp as described in the attached annexes, at which my salary would consist of 10,000 credits per day, plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance and promotion to class A. 10,000 credits a day? That's a fortune. I'm gonna assume it's like $10,000 a day. That, that is a lot of money a day. Wait, wait, wait. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to my pre-established norms of the jurisprudent, uh, jurisprudent, uh, prudential doctrine, currently in force, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in coordinates with the classification system of Centricorp by accepting this stipulated payment. The plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to the labor circumstances or at the request of the trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individuals integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by resolution 1138 uh-huh I can't make heads or tails of this uh, right so I signed a contract uh, let's not I have a bad feeling about this I better not sign it on the other hand Having my first job at such an important company with all these credits. Whew. Let, let's, let's look around. 
kill the witch. Um, this is some. Is this? This is just some ancestry of the big city, right? Central Corp is a very important company, so who am I to judge the value of this bloody art? It's probably cow blood. It must be. It must be worth millions. Um, right. I'm not gonna sign that. If one thing I learned at the job is you learn not to sign things. Depending on what it is. A remote control. But it doesn't work. I'll need two batteries for it. Um. Okay. Different sized pyramids. They're probably some artistic meaning. Can I run? Oh, I can run. Modern art. Expensive vases, but covered in... I want to say red paint. There's paint everywhere. Yeah. That ain't paint, buddy. Do I got like Metal Gear Solid past this camera? There's a door, but it's locked. I guess I'm gonna have to sign this contract in order to keep going. I could sit down, but better not. There are cameras everywhere. Alright, so do I just... Um, alright, let's sign it. I don't think I can go any further unless I do. I've come all this way. I can't back out now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Deal with the devil. What? Wow, what just happened? Well, I signed it. Now what? Uh oh. Oh shit. Six floor. What's going on? What the hell? Looks like a blank page. Wait. It has a watermark. Like some kind of snake with a crown and a diamond? I'll keep this in my briefcase. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. Okay. What in the hell's going on? Hello! Are you the new guy? Yes, hello. My name is... Br uh... Pasternak. My name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Bria Pasternak. No, no, it's just... Ha, <laughs> it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new work workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I don't even know if this is the right floor or not. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot out of you at first. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now, this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks, work with databases. Well, 
you know, computer stuff. There are a few... Well, yeah. There are a few offices in a meeting room. The bathroom's in the back. And this is the reception desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Look at that guy coming in, for example. Okay. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor. See? He didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. Haha. <laughs> Come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. I'm not even sure if I'm on the right floor or not. I should have went to two. Welcome to your office. Right now, it's a bit empty since a few, few of the employees are on sick leave, but... What the hell is that? Look who's come out of a... Look who's come out of a lair. This is another... Another of our co-workers, Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. Yo, like... Why does she look like she's been just... Like, life has just defeated the hell out of her. Haha. <laughs> She's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of the, her stories, there's no stopping her. Well, let's get on with the tour. This guy's like really jolly that is scary. Over here, we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved. It's just free water. When it's empty, Someone will have to come up and refill it, which can take, which can sometimes take years. Wait, years? To fill water? You better start coming to work with like a whole case of water yourself. And here we have the, we have at the cornerstone of our, of any office, the coffee maker. We are prepared, we prepared a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you, what do you say we use a little to replenish our strength? Oh no, there's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never ever ever prepares more when it's finished. <laughs> Yo, know, Brian is like, what? What did I just sign up to? Right, Sosa? Yo, she just looks done. Yo, somebody get her out of this building in like a life, cause she is done. I like coffee like the next person, don't get me wrong, but damn, when you start looking like that, I think it's time. So, then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? I like his enthusiasm. Well, first we need water and coffee powder. You should be able to find that somewhere in here somewhere. We should be able to find some in here somewhere. Uh, if I were a coffee maker, I would think here. Here. Oh. So Sosa hides in there. That's sometimes that's not good. Alright, there's water. Unless Sosa has it. You don't have any coffee powder, do you? Yeah, that's gonna be in my nightmares tonight. Just that look of Sosa. I think that means no.
Let's check over here. Nope, that's a photocopier. Not gonna be there. Hey, that's my desk. Don't mess it up. I have nothing you can see, you can use. Oh, sorry. Alright, uh... You have to get water and coffee powder. Um... Slice of bread? What's a slice of bread doing in a file cabinet? Oh gosh, it was in the trash. This better be unopened and like completely not whatever. Here you go. I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow on it a little and it'll work perfectly. Yo, what? Okay, now that you got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. You got one cup of coffee. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water's really only good for showering. What? Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Uh, what exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. Okay. The photocopier. All right. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation. But let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We're here in the fifth floor. <laughs> well, we here in the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. <laughs> what? Exactly, just what? Wow, and there's a camera in, in there and it shows it. He's literally on camera photocopying his ass. Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have... <laughs> I think I should have done a double sided. <laughs> wow. Come on, it's your turn. Uh, no, no thanks. Come on, man. You'll understand how funny it is once you've done it. I guess you don't have to do your ass, but if you're embarrassed, why not use your face instead? Why not? What? My face, but you just... Exactly! He just put his butt on the photocopier and now he wants you to put your face on there? No! Don't do it, bro... Let's, no, no, let's see. Oh no, it's out of paper. Whew. Ah, well, what a pity. Another time, perhaps. No, come on, man. You're the only one I could do these things with. Sosa's a wuss and never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there some in your briefcase? Hmm. I picked up a blank sheet off the elevator floor earlier. That might work? Of course, any paper works. Important thing is to put your head inside the machine and kiss the class. Why? Why, Brian? Oh, gross. Photocopy soul. That's gross.
Wow. This sure is shiny. What just happened? Witch paper? What? Well, well. I see how- I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pasternak. What? Wait, what happened? So then, what's my job exactly? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use the old computer next to you. Someone will, someone will relay your tasks. Um. Okay. I don't see anything useful here. Oh, this computer. Let's see. How does this old thing turn on? Oh, this doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. Um, I don't need to take make any phone calls at the moment. Oh, the plug. I suppose I'll try plugging this wire. Here we go. Time for work, people. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? Um, right. Uh, sorry to bother you again, Hugo. But the computer says I need an ID card? Ah, true. Hmm. Normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already here. Hello? Mr. Pasternak? Yes, it's me! Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have an ID card. Seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh, no, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D? Got it. Thank you. Uh, all right. I'm guessing it's this way. W was that like piss? Wow, it's way too dark in here. That's not it. A B. These are photos of employees of the month. Hugo is in all of them. Huh. I see. Uh, D. Um, yeah. This sofa's blocking the door. Maybe I should push out the way. What the hell? Wow, it's way too dark in here. Hello? What's that say? There's something written on the floor. It's a trap. This... This isn't funny! Turn on the light! Oh sh... What? What in the hell is going on here? Oh, who's this? Uh, hello, do you know what exit is? Oh, it's that guy! Oh my goodness, he's tied to the chair! What happened here? I'm going to- I'm going to try to untie you. It won't budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but perhaps between the two of us, we can find a way out of here? What is going on here? Oh, I gotta push him? Oh. Oh, oh crap! I just died?
You're fired? <laughs> wow. Uh oh. What the hell? Oh my goodness! Run! Run! Oh, uh, yeah, that guy didn't make it. What was that? Uh, let's go. Uh, I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go. The air duct is open, but it's very high up. I need some help. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to get out of here. Come on. I don't know if this thing's gonna come after me or what. Or it's gonna just catch me in events. Yo, what kind of job is this? Seriously, what kind of company is this? M my goodness. What was that? What What's going on in this company? Hey, you! Oh no, girly. Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss. She actually said something? Oh. The door's open. What? Uh, uh, hello? Hugo? What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A, a monster. There's a monster in the office. What? I went to Office D and it was... I don't know, a nightmare. Ah, I think I understand. That monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago. He locked himself in his office. No, 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 no. What happened in there isn't normal. There's a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We've got to tell someone. Well, man... I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I, I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. <laughs> don't tease me, Pastor Knack. And besides, why do you go in that office anyway? We blocked that off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called me and told me to find my ID card in there. Huh. Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. Oh, what? But, wait. This office is a total mess and... What are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses in this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I don't know. Well, I know it sounds a bit weird, but... They've all gone crazy and left. In most cases, our last boss locked himself in this office for years, till one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps? Wait, but if there's no boss, who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. Stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card and start work as soon as possible yeah we all know just by looking at this you know how bad this is going oh did I say work well don't try to do too much you don't want to go crazy like that monster <laughs> what got your ID card Ryan's ID card, my Citricorp employee ID, and Citronet login. Um, even I'm curious. You've got a slice of cheese? Yuck. 
There's something interesting here. Or oh, there's nothing interesting here. Oh, we gotta check for stuff before, uh... There's flies, so there's obviously a dead body in there. What the hell? Hey, I'm having a lot of doubts about my job right now. It'd be best if you turned on your computer, found out what your responsibilities are, and started ignoring them like the rest of us do. Overdoing things can be bad for your mental health. Alright. I've never used one of these machines before. Loading Centronet. What? What is this place? Could it be another trap? Mr. Pasternak. What is that? Another freak! <clears throat> I need to get out of this nightmare. <gasps> of course. Doesn't pay attention. be funny, he's like dreaming this whole thing before his actual first day on a job. I don't know. What is going on here? Mr. Pasternak. Welcome to Centricorp. Uh, are you gonna kill me? Remain calm. I will not hurt you. What, what is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sintra. I am in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, but what's the green world? A second ago, I was in the office. You are connected to Sintranet, a corporate in our corporate interface. Here, you can track your task, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Okay. Welcome to Central Court, Mr. Pasternak. Hope, I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. Well, this is crazy. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Uh, well, actually, it was so long and there were a lot of unfamiliar words, kind of got lost. Do not worry, I will parse the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant oh crap, I skipped point one part. The job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted to social status as dictated by resolution 
11.38, as I read earlier. Excuse me, can you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Oh, of course. The focus of your work as Central Corp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called Witch. What? What? Exterminate the creature called... Y yes, I heard you, but... I have to kill a witch? Is that a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. Oh, this has got to be a dream. Okay, okay. Look, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on at this company. But I don't think I want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I, I don't want to know. There's definitely been some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hexenhammer. What? Yo, what kind of job is this? Uh, how do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak, allow me to finish my explanation and I will show you the way out. Thank you. Due to lack of information regarding the witch, your first task would be to locate Hexenhammer, a witchcraft tree treatise written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Witches? Century Corp has acquired a copy of the Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our first recent records, or most recent recent records, excuse me, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. So we know we, we know we gotta go to seventh floor. It is recommended you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? Excuse me. <clears throat> I must also inform you that for retrieving the book, we will provide you with a bonus of a thousand credits. Hey, Centro, look. Thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it's best I, if you found someone else to take my place? I am sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time. If you want, if you would like to disconnect from the system, please activate the output icon. I hope you reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. Um, let's 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 just talk. What do you want to talk about? What are you? Hey, I mean, what are you exactly? I am an artificial intelligence created in 1973 as a promotional image for Centricorp. I was later incorporated into this computer system as a guide and companion for the workers. 1973? I thought your technology would be more modern. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Pasternak. And in any case, I hope that much my mature experience can help guide you to the successful completion of your mission. If you, if you would like to review the inf information regarding the status of your current task, proceed to the desired icon. I will, I will inform you. Can you tell me more about that witch? We do not have much information regarding her, although there are indications that she has been living within the building for decades, tangibly affecting the company's business development. Because of this, Centricorp devised an eradication plan to begin hiring specialized witch hunters. But I'm not a hunter. I only just finished basic education a month ago. Don't you think this could be a mistake? 
The company conducts a rigorous assessment of its candidates before hiring Mr. Pasternak. I can assure you that the margin of error is minimal. But I don't know anything about witches. This is why your first task is to locate Hexenhammer. This treatise or on witchcraft will help you achieve your goal. Do not doubt yourself, Mr. Pasternak. The company has complete confidence in you and will support you however it can. Uh, let's just keep going, guys. Alright, seventh floor. Alright, is it a normal book? Or will it be some sort of dangerous book shaped monster? According to my records, it's a common book. Hmm. I'm not sure I believe you, but. Alright. Doesn't seem that much complicated, I suppose. As of this moment, you have made no progress towards completing this task, sir. I would encourage you to begin working as soon as possible. A productive worker is a happy worker. What? Can I save it? Like, is there any way I can save it in here? Before you leave, I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities in the eyes of your partners. Your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal this secret. See you soon, sir. We need paper. It's like some paper on the ground. It's empty. What? There's paper right there. Hey, have you already connected to the system? That computer's a little old, so maybe you have some outdated software. But it should be alright for the basic stuff. Did you find out what your responsibilities are? Yeah. Well, looks like some assorted chores. If you can call killing a chore. Kill? You have to kill somebody? Ah, uh, ah, no, no, no. Kill. Time. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I see that you've got the hang of it now. <laughs> You're already thinking about lazying around, aren't you? Well, yes. Actually, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Oh, why not? Here in a big city, everything's much faster and just different. I was thinking it might be better off going back to the suburbs. It takes a little time to get used to it. And don't worry. We can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack. Chill for a while. Take it easy. It's your first day. Oh, well, that makes sense. I want some paper. I want to save. Um, we'll go to the first floor. Hey, lady. She doesn't even freaking acknowledge me. She looks dead. They all look dead. Like zombies. Uh, let's just get off this floor. Six, six floors out of limits. Alright, let's go to the first floor. Eat. There's water. There's a carton of dry noodles with, with the name of race. Should I take it? Eh, we'll take it. Uh oh. Hi, my name is Pasternak. Pasternak. 
Pasternak, do you usually cry in a shower? What? Um, not really, no. I do it all the time. Oh, well, I'm sorry. My name is Malone. Nice to meet you. Do you live alone? Uh, no, I live with my parents. Well, I was. I have to get an apartment in the capital now. Delicious. A coffee? No. Okay, well, see you later. Uh, yeah. She is just watching me. Is, is there like a photocopier around here? You've got 30 credits. Um, it's empty. Huh. I need a little menu. What's this? Commercial agreements. According to the company's magazine at Centricorp, you're not an employee, you're a leader. Okay. My office is is in room B. We can hide there. Uh-huh. Um, room B? Well, I'm gonna go look for... Okay, um... I had to find some paper so I can save it. Let me check this trash can here. It's empty. So normally reception normally isn't here. No, I'm not supposed to be back here, but I need some paper. There's nothing here. Ah, yeah, paper. Perfect. Um, let's go in here. So I'm gonna go save it. <laughs> it's a different look every time. Hey guys, I'm going to end it here. Let me know what you guys think of the beginning of this so far. And I will see you in the next one. And until then, good night everybody.